Hi guys, Drielli here. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. Today we have another pen pal with me. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create those two uh, fall themed envelopes. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the envelopes that I'm using today, they are from Michaels. Uh, they are uh, this envelope that I got on a package of 50 and they are all in this uh, craft paper. Uh, now, I tried to see if I could find it online at Michael's uh, website, but they are no longer available online. So I will try to find something similar um, either on Amazon or something like that. So if you guys are interested in that type of envelope, you can um, you know, find it online. But yeah, um, other than that, all of the items that I'm going to be using today any of stationery i will be linking down below in the description box so if you're interested just check it out in the description box so for this uh envelope here i decided to go to town with the stamping actually both of the envelopes that i'm going to be decorating today it's going to be fully stamped on the background so i really like that idea i do have um so many um you know rubber stamps right now they are fall themed so i just decided to utilize them so uh those um rubber stamps they're all from your creative studio i actually got it from their september subscription box i do have an unboxing video so if you like to watch unboxing videos and you haven't had the chance to watch that video yet i'll link it above here on the screen so you can check it out later but yeah it's just a bunch of different uh, fall themed rubber stamps and i just grabbed three different leaves um and i decided to go with different colors as well all of course call um, fall colors so i grabbed the two start my brown orange and yellow inks but then i later on decided to bring in the red as well and those uh, ink pads they are all from the drew drop at uh, the memento line um, and yeah, I absolutely love those ink pads. They're my favorite. I just decided to bring the red. I was going to stick with the brown, orange, and yellow, but I thought I was missing some color, especially because I was using a craft paper uh, envelope. So sometimes I feel the craft paper kind of sucks and the ink and it doesn't show that much. I mean, right now that I'm looking in my video, it looks fine, but like in person, it just, the color just didn't pop up. So I just decided to grab the red as well so i would have a pop extra pop of color so yeah so uh, for the address i decided to grab uh, my classic tag uh, this one is in the color cream with some burgundy i thought was very you know fall related with the burgundy i don't know and i think of fall i think of all the earthy tones and all the oranges and burgundies you know dark colors um so definitely burgundy reminds me of fall um the tape here that i'm using it is a paper tape from um gosh i can talk paper tape <laughs> from a classic key and i got it from cafe analog uh, the paper that i'm using that has also fall leaves there it is from hobby lobby it is from a paper pad that it's a four seasons paper pad I got it uh, from Hobby Lobby. I do have a haul actually. I'll link it above here on the screen if you like to watch hauls and you haven't watched that one yet. But yeah, I just decided to kind of like do a paper collage um, with some of those papers and the, you know, the classic paper tape. And uh, I decided to also grab some extra washi tapes that I had it all in the fall themed and just uh, um, added a little bit on the bottom as well. So I grabbed two uh, washi tapes here for the bottom, uh, this orange one with white uh, fall leaves. This one was from Michaels. The one that says, I love fall, this one I got it from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm using a red, it's not red, it's a burgundy again. I just wanted to kind of match with the classic tags and the her skirt because I'm using this paper doll that has this beautiful burgundy skirt and an orange uh, t-shirt. So I thought it would match with the whole, you know, color scheme. So I grabbed this uh, piece of uh, washi tape. This one, the burgundy one is actually from your creative studio, was from one of their uh, subscription boxes. If I'm not mistaken, was from the month of uh, August. I'm almost positive. 
But yeah, the paper doll that I'm using here, it is from Peon and I got it from Cafe Analog. And uh, this older washi tape that I just fussy cut that also uh, has fall theme was also from Cafe Analog. Um, now I'm just finalizing here on the other side. I decided to put the tag uh, completely separate from the collage on the left. I don't know, I just didn't want it to cover too much of the leaves and I thought it was a good idea. And I just finalized with a corner here with a small sticker um, that is a fall sticker that has a turkey and uh, I got this one from Hobby Lobby and that was pretty much it. I try to be very minimalist with the envelopes today. Sometimes I feel that I go too much overboard and uh, I don't know, I just wanted to be a little bit less, um, you know, go a little bit less crazy with the decoration, especially because I didn't want it to cover this stamping uh, on the background. So I try to be very minimalistic when it comes to the, you know, with the paper collage. But yeah, moving forward to the second envelope. Again, we are doing the same thing. We are stamping all the way this um, envelope. What I decided to do, because with the first envelope, we did a bunch of uh, fall leaves. I decided to go with different um, items here. So I grabbed some acorns, some pumpkins, and uh, you know, some pine cones. I just wanted to go with something different to not have the same items in the envelopes. And uh, I really like how it turned out. So for the pine cones, I decided to go with brown. Of course, with the pumpkins, I went with orange. And uh, I decided to go crazy with the colors with the acorn and I went to town with red and, um, and uh, some of the yellow as well. Just to add a pop of color with the yellow there. I know acorn naturally is not that color, but I, I was going to do that with the pumpkins and I forgot it and I just stamped the whole thing with orange and then the acorn was the only thing left that I could use with the yellow and red. So there you go. <laughs> I'm just going through my uh, collection here of paper dolls again from Peon. It's the same box that I got at the first, you know, paper doll from the uh, first envelope. And I just decided to grab this one again just because of their uh, outfit. Uh, that was the same idea why I picked that other uh, paper doll as well for the first envelope was just because of their outfit. It reminded me of fall plus their outfit colors were fall colors. So for this one she was wearing this you know beanie that's like kind of like a burgundy. She's holding a what looks like a journal that's a burgundy color too. She's wearing this um, not wearing she's holding this bag that has this fall color like a, this yellow color that's very nice and she's wearing boots and uh, you know what seems to be something that you'd wear in the fall um, I didn't super love the fact that her pants were blue but oh yeah oh well I mean I didn't have too many options to choose it from so there we go <laughs> I'm using also the classic tag the same one for the address I'm using the paper um, tape from Classic as well, orange on the top left. I used some of my washi tapes that I got it from Hobby Lobby, that one with a bunch of white pumpkins, and those ones on the bottom with the brown and the, you know, everything, um, pumpkin, everything is also from Hobby Lobby. The only washi here that is not Hobby Lobby, it is this. Uh, one that is white with a bunch of acorns and this one right now that I'm fussy cutting um, This autumn leaf this one is from cafe analog as well um, But yeah, I'm just uh, finalizing here uh, Fussy cutting that leaf so I can add it to the tag on the top just to add it a little bit more of a detail and uh, I used a a sticker from Hobby Lobby on the top that it has a pie, apple pie, and that's pretty much it. Uh, now I am going to just lift it up as a sticker so I can add it a little bit of the same acorn washi tape right there just to add a little bit of white, but that's pretty much it. I'm done with the envelopes. 
I am going to bring it close so you guys can see all of the details for the envelopes that we created today. Again, super simple idea, nothing crazy here in terms of the paper collages that we created today, but I thought it was a fun idea, very simple and very fast to create, especially if you don't have a lot of time and you wanted to send some letters to your pen pals. This is a great way to still fully decorate an envelope without spending too much time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now. Thank you.